so I'm processing this. Does this mean that the whole time we were together, you were? Oh, I mean, are you, are you asking, did I always want to have sex with men? Yes. Are you asking, did I, did I think about it when we were together? Uh, yes. So then how were you able to have sex with me? Well, there's a, there's a, a, a handsomeness to you, just, oh all right, that, maybe that, that wasn't the right, um. Well, I am very, very happy for you. Thank you. And very, it means a lot to me. But I do wish that you could have maybe figured this out a little bit sooner, like maybe when we were at liberal arts college, because there were a lot of gay men there. Okay, okay, now I, I just feel like there's a lot of aggression coming off of you. And also, I want to let you know that the reason I brought you here was not to discuss our past relationship, but to discuss the fact that I have an STD, and I'm pretty fucking sure you gave it to me. Why would you think that? Because I've been having protected sex with my current boyfriend, and also he doesn't have HPV. HPV? He was tested, and he doesn't have it. Oh, your boyfriend was tested for HPV? Yes. Well, that's absurd. And why is that absurd? Because there is no test for men. There is no way a man can be tested for HPV, and, and, and your boyfriend would know that had he even taken an intro level to human sexuality workshop. Okay, so you're saying that you don't have it. No, I'm saying there's no way for me to know. And quite frankly, Hannah, I resent the accusation. You, you, were, you were always like this. Okay, this is not the time for you to throw stones, because you know what? I'm the one who was lied to for By two, who? By you for two years. Well, I think it was Maya Angelou who said we are only as blind as we want to be. So you're saying that I was supposed to know that you were gay? Because let me tell you something. This fruity little voice that you've put Excuse on... Excuse me? ...is a new thing. Fruity little voice? Fruity little voice? Keep your fucking down. Is this about the scarf? It's not about the scarf. The scarf is not helping the situation, but it's about your tone of voice. It's about your mannerisms. And in my I'm head, my authentic self. I am being my authentic self. If you had been this gay in college, I would have known because I have two eyeballs, two really? ears. You might want to take some steps back through your other boyfriends. And not for nothing, maybe take a look at your dad. You didn't just... In what way does my father be gay to you? Uh, well, he has a stud in his ear. He got it on a trip he took with a bunch of his male friends. I heard are what that hearing? sounded like. Are we hearing ourselves? I heard what that sounded like. I don't like. think we are. You know what I'm going to do from now on? What are you going to do? Ask people if they're gay before I have sex with them. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And don't be surprised if people ask you if you keep dressing like that. I'm going to have the last word in this situation. It was nice to see you. No. Your dad is gay. No.